Hey, what's up you guys? It's Vinny and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark. I'm gonna, like, edit the brightness, um, hopefully. Um, um, if you're new here or haven't yet already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to turn on post notifications. Follow my social media in the description box below. Also, check out my vlog channel. That's linked below. We are playing episode. If you haven't seen the previous episodes or want to see more of the episode series, that is linked below below in the description box as well. Check out those playlists, you already know. So, we are playing Hollywood Days with Hayes again. And, um, we last left off when Tez, Hayes' best friend, um, found our fanfic. And, um, yeah. We released some details that basically gave us away. So here we go. Let's see what happens. I checked this fanfic out and whoever's writing it wrote about the animal shelter you volunteer at. Wait, what? Isn't that your secret spot? Who's writing this? Oh my god, Lydia must have posted my chapter. If Hayes finds out it was me, he could hate me forever. How do they know those details about your life? Yo, this is weird. Hello? Mia? Fanny, I just read your fanfic chapter from last night. Did you mean to post that? I thought you said the animal shelter was a Hayes' secret. It is. OMG, Mia, I'm freaking out. I just texted Lydia asking her if she posted it. And she replied, it's for the best. Trust me. I specifically told her I wasn't ready. I got- we gotta investigate this later. You have that press interview soon, don't you? Yeah, I gotta dip out now for that. Fanny, this is gonna blow up in your face soon if you don't handle it. You have to tell Hayes the whole truth. You're right, I'm gonna tell him right now. Hayes? Where'd he go? Hayes? He just left for the day. Some press interview. Shoot, I'll have to tell him tomorrow night at the rap party. The next day. What are you going to wear the, this big night? It's a deal. Um, can I wear one of your designs? Um, one problem, I haven't made any dresses recently. But like, if you want to wear a graphic tee, I've got you covered. If I'm going to tell Hayes the horrible truth, I deserve to look good while doing it. That was not a joke. This is serious fashion emergency. <coughs> Who's that? Coco. Hi, Vanny. Can I come in? Of course. Sure, come on in. Awesome, because I have dresses. I brought a few of my stylists to help you choose an outfit for tonight. I thought it might be fun to get ready together. That and I thought it might be nice to be friends. You, famous Hollywood movie star, want to be my friend. I don't have too many friends my age since I'm always on set. But I thought you seemed really nice and cool. That's so sweet of you. So what do you say? Friends? friends. Boys, come on in. Let's go get ready for tonight. Okay, so I brought two different dresses for you, but one of them is super gorge. Try it on. Fanny, that looks amazing on you. Agreed. Nothing in your closet is going to top that. It's perfect. Oh, but I don't have enough gems, so not really. The stuff it will be available. Oh, okay. Try me as old homecoming dress. Eh, that works. Yeah. You can, okay. This is perfect. Thank you, everyone. Vinny, you look stunning. Agreed. Like a million bucks. Should we get going? Yeah. 
You can do this. Just tell him the truth, no matter what. First row Hollywood party. Um, yeah, it's so exciting. Everyone looks so famous. You fit right in. Thanks to you and your stylist, I could never have pulled this off on my own. Will you excuse me for a minute? Danny, I was hoping to have a chance to talk to you tonight. I know it can sometimes be a tiny bit difficult while I'm working. You? Nah. But I, you've done a great job this summer. This movie is going to be a huge hit and you were a big part of that. I can't wait to read your new script. You've earned it. Oh, the script. I haven't even started yet because I couldn't stop writing fanfic. What am I going to tell TJ? Mm, I'm just finishing the ending. I want to make sure it's perfect, you know? Hope it's good. If not, you know the deal. No Hollywood Screenwriting Academy love letter. I'll worry about the script tomorrow. Tonight's my only priority is talking to Hayes. Hayes! I've been looking for you. Come with me. There's something I really want to show you. Close your eyes. Don't worry. I got you. Okay, open. What is it? Look up. Stars. In L.A.? The smog must have known we were celebrating tonight and decided to catch us a break. They're so beautiful just like you. Hayes, I, I have something I need to tell you. Me too. This has been a crazy summer. I didn't expect to fall for someone I worked with. I didn't expect to fall for anyone. I bet you didn't either. But I've never met anyone like you and I don't want to just be your friend. I want us to be together. Hayes, I... Ooh... I feel the same way, and that's why I have to tell you. So, Vanny, you've been that one writing that hand, Hayes fanfic. Now I know why it was so believable. You were getting your ideas straight from the source. I... What? How? I'm TJ's agent. And when I saw you at this party unexpectedly, I asked him about you. Lydia told me everything. The fanfic, the meetings, pretty sneaky of you. I didn't think you had that in you. Wait, what are they talking about? I, um, will someone please tell me what's going on? The fanfic about you that everyone and their moms has been talking about. This girl is the one who's been writing it. What? That was you? Hayes, I'm so sorry. Hayes, wait. Please, just let me explain. I just can't believe it. I was so honest with you all summer. I told you really personal things about me. I know, and I never meant for you to find out about it this way. Look, I know people write this stuff all the time, but I trusted you, and it feels like you went behind my back. It just feels like I don't even know you now. Fanny, I know you've become very attached to this cave of yours, but you've got to get outside. I don't want to. We could go to the beach. Nah. Bike to Santa Monica? Eh. Shopping? No. Still nothing with Hayes? Not a word. 
It's been two weeks since the wrap party. He hasn't responded to a single one of my texts. I just feel so heart upset with myself. I regret ever writing about Hayes. I wish I could take it all back. I know, but you can't. The only thing you can do is move forward, and I'll be here for you while you do. I still can't believe Lydia outed you to TJ. I can't blame her, though. This whole mess is my fault. I should have told Hayes about the fanfic sooner. Ugh, I feel like my life is over. Let's get your mind off Hayes. Hollywood Insider We have breaking exclusive news about the one and only Hayes Greer. He joins us now. Great to see you again, Hayes. I hear you have some big news to share with us. Yep, I'm stoked to tell everyone that I'm headed out on a really dope tour. I live two days after the premiere of The Midnight Hawk. Two days? I need some air. Yes, which is it? Bike rides? Mall? Sorry, I still would rather be alone right now. I'm just going to take a walk on the beach. Okay, I'll be in my room if you need me. Fanny! Jay, hi. What's up? I was just surfing with some of my buddies. I thought that was you over here. I was just taking a walk, soaking up SoCal before I have to go home. Oh, that's right. Summer's almost over. I forgot you're leaving. Yeah. Look, Jay, I'm really sorry about this summer and the beach party. I think you're awesome. It's just my heart was somewhere else. I couldn't lead you on once I realized that. It's all good, Vinny. I'm just glad we got to hang out this summer. You're a really cool girl. Let's stay writer friends. I like that. Writer friends. Oh, a package. Mia, this was on the doorstep for you. Really? I'm not expecting anything. Let's see what it is. That's the most excited I've seen you in days. Are those the t-shirts you designed for Hayes? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. You worked really hard on them and they look so awesome, Mia. He's gonna love them. Really? You're not upset? With you? No way. Seriously though, I hate seeing you so bummed out. I definitely am, but really at this point, what else can I do? Maybe try texting him just one more time? Give it one last shot so you know you tried everything? I like that idea. I bet it'll make it me feel better. Okay, tell me how this is. Hi Hayes, I know you leave for your tour in two days, but I wanted to try saying I'm sorry one more time. I leave LA in two days too. I'd really like to see you so I can apologize in person, person before summer ends. If I don't hear from you, I promise not to bother you again. I think it's perfect. Should I send it? That has to be your decision, but I would. Oh, of course, cost gems. I'm gonna have to delete it. Message deleted. I don't think I should. Really? You're sure? Yeah, plus I have a meeting with TJ in 30 minutes. I gotta get to the studio. Wait, but what are you gonna do? He thinks you have a script for him, doesn't he? He does. I'm gonna have to tell him the truth. I know the recommendation letter is on the line, but at this point, I just want to be completely honest with everyone. Good luck.
sit down and hand over your script. I'm really sorry, but I don't have a script, TJ. You don't have a script? Um, you know, well, I was writing fanfic instead, so... I was already... Uh, I just completely got swept up in it. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it was August, and I still didn't have a script. Then why are you here exactly? I'm here because I needed to tell you the truth in person. Because I lied to enough people this summer, and I can't do it anymore. And because I hurt someone I love. You know, my first movie, I wrote it after I got my heart broken pretty bad. I really messed up with someone who I cared about. And writing about it was how I processed my feelings. But writing about it was also how I got her back. Now she's my wife. What are you saying? I think you need to write your story. The real story about you and Hayes. An apology story. You've got two days till you both leave. The movie premiere is tomorrow night. If there was ever a time for a grand gesture, this is it. That's what I have to do. I have to write one last chapter, but this one will be for Hayes. Give it all the heart you've got and you can't lose. I think I understand that now. I didn't before. Thanks for the summer, TJ. I'll see you tomorrow night at the premiere. Yes, you will. And Vinny? You've earned that recommendation letter to the Hollywood Screenwriting Academy. Now go home and write. And that's about it.